Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to come out here. I'm just in the midst of my workout. I'm doing like a total old school workout today. I just did um, Tybo, my old Tybo DVD, and then I'm gonna do some Muscle Max from Kathy. Um, and I wanted to show you a quick, a quick peek, a quick pit. Good Lord, quick peek at uh, Armor 39 because I'm in the midst of it. As you can see, I'm in the midst of like a total sweat fest, which by the way, rewind to this. Don't forget your oldies but goodies, people. Um, every time I go back and do Tybo, and I really wish he had all of the Tybo Advanced Live DVDs on DVD. This is Advanced 1 and 2, and I think there's like a couple greatest hits, which I have on DVD, but other than that, for those of you that remember when he first came out with Tybo Advanced Live on VCR, yes, on VCR, those were some of the best, most intense kickboxing classes because he was just like, hey, you're in my advanced class, and there was no stopping, and it was really intense, and it was awesome. From now on, ever since he's gotten with Guy M, everything is instructional. It's a lot more slower, in my experience. I haven't tried his, his latest ones, but you guys know I've talked about this before. So here's the thing that I want to show you, and I'll do a separate video about this, but when they first sent me the Armor 39 package, I tried to set it up and I tried to use it in a workout and I thought it didn't work. And the reason I thought it didn't work is I didn't realize you have two options on how to use the Armor 39. You can use it with your app. So if you see right now, I do not have any uh, watch on. I do have the chest strap on, okay? So you can use it and, and basically look at your readout on the iPhone. If you don't have iPhone, it's not ready for droid operating systems yet, or I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, it's not ready for, you know, Samsung phones and whatever, but down the road it will be. Um, so if you don't have an iPhone right now, then what you would do is you would use the watch. So, but you use either or. And my problem is when I first got it, I thought you used both. I thought you put the watch on and then it would show on both, but it, it's only gonna read it, your chest, Thing is only going to work with one. It's either going to work with the phone or it's going to work with the watch. A um, couple of cool things that I found out when I was out in Baltimore with the uh, folks that designed this and that are working on this. Um, a, I didn't know what they meant by measuring willpower. Um, and also, as you can see, it's got intensity. Now this number up here, see how it just turned blue? This is the cool thing about this. So um, I'm trying to see if I can make it go up higher without jumping around and looking like an idiot. Um, the colors, let me calm down a minute. The colors are blue when you are at kind of like, you know, you're closer to resting heart rate. They turn to green when you start getting a little active. And then, um, let's see if, oh my God, I'm literally dripping sweat. So the tile in my kitchen is, um, is I'm, I'm literally like, I, I need to get a towel because I'm starting to slip. <laughs> Problems with the trade. Um, but anyway, I kept wondering, you know, what's, what is the uh, willpower, what's all that? But these numbers up here, so your heart rate will go from blue to green to yellow to orange to red. I have to tell you guys, you might think this is dorky, but pretty much everything I say is dorky. Um, I've had quite a lot of fun with this, being that it's a big display, and as I'm working out, I'm kind of finding myself glancing over to see that I can get it, you know, of course, once you start working out, you, you tend to be in the yellow easily. You get up to yellow easily. Then you'll start to see it turn orange, and then it, you, you do, you find yourself kind of like amping it up. Now, that said, and I'll get back to this when I do like an official review, when I'm not sweating like a monster, because I really need to go back in there and finish my workout. Um, but you know, one of the things when I talk to them about this is, I think many of you know in my past, um, I have a tendency to get into like an overtraining mindset. I have a tendency to want to reach my goals very fast, even though I know, and I've become much better at saying, you know, it takes time, you know, chill out, whatever. I still have that tendency of like more is always better. And I have to have that kind of beaten into my head that it's not. You know, you can get into a serious overtraining situation, you can get into injuries. I'm dealing with a serious kind of Achilles situation on my right foot and, you know, I can't run for a while. I'm not going to be able to run. Who knows? I'm having my guy check it out tomorrow when I go for my massage, chiropractor dude. So we'll have him look at it. If I have to go to the doctor and whatever, we'll see. Good Lord, I'm hungry. But, um, one of the things that they were talking to me about is uh, Chris the trainer, and, and you'll hear from him, but he was basically like, you know, a, a good trainer is gonna tell you, because I said, you know, oh, I'm always gonna wanna be at, you know, willpower high, which when I do my 
official review. I'll explain all of this later. And um, we'll hopefully do a review with Chris and Tori and all of the people that you know are designing this and updating it. And then that way you can hear more. We'll put that up on the Fitfluential channels. But I'm trying to just give you my personal experience and what I understand. Um, the more I talked to Chris, I was like, oh, you know, every everything has to be high intensity, high willpower. He's like, you're not supposed to do this. And if you know, a good trainer will tell you, you know, do so many days at like. 50% intensity. Do this many days at, you know, three, three days I want you to do your, you know, at whatever it is. And he doesn't say it has to be, you know, cardio alone or weight alone or whatever. But you're supposed to vary. And a thing like this really, I mean, let's be real. Other heart rate monitors, you can do the same thing. Um, what I like about this too, I wonder if I can do this. Uh, probably not. But I'll do that separately. Um, when I do my review because it has a really nice, you finish your workout, it has a really nice color graph of your heart rate printout. I mean, let's be real. If you're using this versus the Under Armour 39 watch or any other heart rate monitor watch, this is a nice big screen. So when you have a, a, a layout and you're reading it on a screen, of course it's going to look better. It's going to look more appealing because it's all colorful and beautiful. There's only so much you can fit on a phone. So I understand that. But um, I just really like this. Um, I really, and, and basically, I'll probably have them explain it better, but as far as measuring willpower, some people go, well, how the hell is it going to measure willpower? It measures your willpower based on the data that you put in there. So you're putting your data, your age, your weight, your height, your um, maximum heart rate. So it's measuring your intensity based on how close you get to your maximum heart rate um, during your entire workout. And again, there's a lot of variables that go in that, but for example, I had my information entered incorrectly because they gave me the latest update and we didn't realize it till later, but I had my max heart rate in there is 220. So we finished the workout we did out there, the workout that basically had me just about on the floor dying. And it showed that my, I think my intensity or something, I don't remember if it was my intensity, I was like at 1.5 for willpower. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? And he said, he's like, I think you need to adjust your heart rate. Um, because for me, I'm at a really good, um, good feeling. I don't want to say breathless, but I could still talk. I'm really good at one, a heart rate of like 150, 160. When I start getting up to 165, 170, that's when I am personally feeling really intense. Other people can go up to 180 and higher. For me, no, that's where I'm at. So anyway, I will do more of a detailed, um, a detailed, see how it's going down there, um, review of this. But I, I just wanted to kind of show you what it's like in motion and then I'm at seven minutes I wonder if I can like go over here and jump up and down really quickly and show you how it gets up to hold on one second that's what I'm gonna do and I can't do it on my kitchen either I'm just running up and down I can't do it up on my kitchen either because see I'm right here because like right now hold on see it's at 102 but I can't do it up in my kitchen because my uh, my tile from all the sweat pouring down from my workout the tile is, hey, how's it going? The tile is all slippery and sweaty, so I need to come over here on the carpet, and I'm trying to get my heart rate up really fast, which is, okay, see, now we're at yellow. See how it goes up to yellow? Once you start moving around, and jumping around, I'm kind of just doing like jumping jacks and stuff. Um, I don't know how high I can get my heart rate up. I'm trying to think of when it turns um, orange for me. Um, 127, 128, hold on. I'm not gonna jump up and down much longer. I'm just gonna do some jumping jacks. I really want you to see what it looks like when it turns orange. I think maybe 138 for me is when it turns orange. You see, this is probably gonna be one of the dorkiest things I've ever done. But I want you to see how it goes from, I'm doing jumps, oh crap. See, you have to be really careful with my Achilles. Here, word orange, see, word orange. And the only reason I'm a little bit more out of breath I wouldn't normally be this out of breath, 138, 136. But I'm trying to move really fast, get my heart rate up really fast. I don't think we're gonna get up to red. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed that. So now you can see my intensity went up to 66 now because I'm standing still. It's down to 62, see it coming down and see how fast my heart rate is coming down. Um, but anyway, you get the idea. So it goes from blue to green to yellow to orange to red. Um, very, very cool. I will show you more of the details later. I hope you enjoyed looking at my refrigerator. <gasps>
while I was getting my sweat up. I have to go and I will talk to you guys later.